Bumstead. This report you sneak onto my desk makes no sense at all. With all due respect, boss, I like a second opinion. I was hoping you would say that, my boy. My second opinion is that you can easily be replaced. I think I like another shot at that report, boss. I heard Jim spouting off the other day saying, You ain't never were a day in your life, Snuffy. Well, Jim's a big old liar. It was March 23rd, 1972. How was your week with Beetle? He slept through a movie, a play, and a concert. That sounds boring. He paid for it all, so I'm good. Ditto is not supposed to be eating cookies now. What is it, Trixie? I'm not as good as that at tattletailing. The special today is the eager Alan Poe boy. I had it once, but never more. Here comes my extremely jealous boyfriend. Give him a good excuse for talking to me. I'm out of my mind. He says he was abducted by aliens. I'm starting to believe him. Whenever I feel a little down about being a 50-year-old comic strip, I just try to figure out how old Marmaduke is in dog years. We're off to one of his endless happy places. No one can withstand the national defense of the brofish. Billy's first substitute cartoon shows himself receiving explicit instructions from Daddy. I'm way past the flowers and chocolates apology with Loretta. I'm now in a jewelry zone. Looking innocent takes practice, Joey. <laughs>